Um, on Friday, uh, everybody's favorite three-letter agency, the SEC, denied Coinbase's petition uh, requesting transparency in rules and regulations for crypto. Nothing new. I mean, we're all so sick of these guys. It's unbelievable. Uh, Gary Gensler, when is he going to leave? I mean, uh, it's just they're abysmal. I mean, they're just corrupt frauds. But um, I skimmed Gensler's response to them. Basically, he said that uh, all crypto are securities, even though they haven't proven that or anything yet, uh, and that they're not going to provide any further clarification. So they just basically said, you should know these are all securities uh, and operate that way, even though you know we're not going to in a court of law, tell you that they are. And actually, if anything, we are going to lose in the precedent setting lawsuit against uh, XRP and Ripple. So um, the fun, the thing is here, original securities laws were written, you know, more closer to civil war time than today. All right. So this is <laughs> the, the stuff that was written when it was written is not relevant. There was no existence of cryptocurrency. Nobody knows anything about cryptocurrency or maybe could have ever, could, certainly could have never have even dreamed of it at that time. Um, so yeah, just more hasty, pathetic behavior by the SEC. Um, here's my question to you, Ewok. This is nothing new. And then later that day, Coinbase actually did file a lawsuit back against the SEC again. They kind of keep going back and forth with these guys, um, after the denial of the transparent crypto regulation. So kudos to Brian Armstrong and Coinbase for fighting back against Gary Guzzler, as they've done many times before. Yeah. But I got to ask you this, you walk and, you know, I'm not alluding to any specific open cases or anything like that. Um, but when it comes to the SEC and people attacking them back, punching back whenever they get punched down on, um, what do you think some of this extra hasty behavior by the SEC looking really like shit to everybody here when it comes to this Coinbase lawsuit? Um what could this mean for other open cases or, you know, other lawsuits being filed by the SEC and just other pending cases that they already have going on? I mean, we, we've talked about it before. Judges are human beings and they are seeing this stuff from the yeah. SEC. And, you know, when you look at a Brian Armstrong, when you look at Coinbase and you see how compliant they've been and, you know, desiring, you know, more clarity and not getting it, it really makes the SEC look bad. Sure um, does. Yeah. So how do you think this could affect other cases right now? And do you think more people that are just getting these frivolous lawsuits by the SEC, wink, wink, uh, could go on the offensive and do something back, which we're going to get to uh, more specifically here in a bit? Yeah, the the second part, especially. Um, I know um, that there is a, you know, if you look back at one of the RH tweets, um, th th it mentioned about how a um, a company can, like somebody acting through the company can shield the things they say. Uh, but when they don't make these um, determinations or clarity rules or anything like that um, and just say it, well, I'm not speaking for them. So then you're speaking on your own when you say all this stuff. Um, they're not shielded. So people can directly go after Gensler and countersuit. Um, I know Crypto Coffee had put out a, a, a tweet the one day that mentioned, I wonder, or maybe it wasn't, I don't know who it was. I think it was Coffee, but either way, uh, that mentioned, I wonder how many people will actually file a suit because of the things that he's saying and doing against, you know, one of the things that they own. Um, he's not mm -hmm. acting on behalf of the SEC if he's speaking on his own um, accord and what kind of um, implications will this have? Now, I, I think that <laughs> I think that a lot of these things and and you're right. The judges are going to see all this. They do see it. They know what's going on. Um, so, you know, the longer certain things wait, or the longer they take to actually transpire. It's going to be interesting to see how many regular rules or things that they've uh, ruled on happen until that event, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Most people know what I'm talking about, but um, it, it's it, it's good because we could get some clarity. We could get some rulings, uh, and the judges could just start throwing stuff out and saying, you guys are being ridiculous. You know, these people are all asking for some sort of clarity. Um, you're not giving it to them. You refuse to give it to them. 
um, why are you, you keep bringing this stuff up and bringing it to us uh, when it's loss after loss after loss? Because all they're doing is citing previous determinations um, and using that against themselves. So, yeah, I, I, I think um, I, I think the the more things that play out, the better for everybody involved. Um, and I do think there are going to be people that are going to say, screw you. You know, you've come after us enough. You've tried to extort so much money. Um, you know, it was, who was it, Gemini? Uh, that just got, or Kraken. It was Kraken that got hit twice uh, within yes. a year. Um, you know, they paid him the first time, and then they came back around again. So, yes, I think these guys are going to start getting fed up um, and say, you know, we'd rather spend the money on lawyers um, and counter counter sue them for 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 the damages and maybe get some of that money back so i right i applaud them for it i i think it's the way to go uh if you don't fight them they're going to keep taking advantage of it. it's like the bully that keeps picking on you um until you sock him in the jaw you know he's probably going to keep picking so we right. need to get enough people to punch him in the face um and maybe they'll start letting people alone were you ever bullied by anybody that looked like gary gensler no I can't, I can't imagine him creeping up on you to give you a wedgie and hang you in your locker yeah, or something. I, I worry know. about Actually, him. he was probably the one bullied, I imagine. Yeah, probably. That's probably that why he it. does it. Yeah, he probably got picked on and he got the he's the one that got the wedgies. Exactly. Yeah, now he's giving America a big wedgie. Yep. Um yeah, so yeah, kudos to Coinbase, kudos to Brian Armstrong for firing back there. And yes, I definitely think more people are going to do this. I mean, at this point, this is why when I see whether it's tweets, YouTube video comments, whatever, by people that are like, oh my God, what about a pending SEC case? What about the SEC? These guys carry no weight anymore. Mm. Like in that, you know, something like the Paul's chain ecosystem took a big dip whenever we heard that news back on July 31st. Okay, yeah, there's like a short-term uh, outcome from that. But in terms of like them really doing anything that that affects much, they don't. And they they yep. shouldn't be feared, and especially Gary Gensler shouldn't be feared. I mean, pretty much nobody is in favor of the guy. So, yep. um, yeah, kudos to Coinbase. I'm glad they're firing back. We'll see how that works out. But these things take forever, obviously, and I imagine Gensler won't be around to see the culmination of all of it. So <laughs> we hope anyway. Um, yeah, 